Hello my dear students, welcome to one more amazing session from Infinity Lane. This is Suresh, Faculty of Chemistry. Today I am going to present you the most important topic from the chemical bonding, dipole movement. This dipole movement makes a very good questions from the NEET aspirant students. And you can expect one question that 4 marks is in your pocket. I can guarantee you at the end of the session. And get ready. And before going for that, Sri Chaitanya Infinity Lane is offering a score examination. So, India's largest scholarship examination. Why this is India's largest scholarship examination? Because this scholarship examination provides you scholarship worth of 1 crore rupees and study setup and laptop is also will be given to the students and also educational elements and up to 100% scholarship. So, while yet in the description box, the link is available. Just click it and fill your details and enjoy your score examination to avail all the facilities. And one more important thing about the score examination, you may be a student from the Infinity Lane or you may be from any other institute, still you are eligible to write the score exam. And this score examination is purely online and you can sit at home and you can write the exam. So, all the best my dear students in the description box link is available and you click it and enjoy the score exam. One more important thing, whenever you are preparing for an examination, it is required to go for a proper assessment. So, for that assessment, uh, Infinity Learn is giving NEET 2025 All India Test Series Pack. In this test series pack, you have 27 AITS examination, 13 unit test, 4 part test and 10 grant test is simply based on NEET pattern and 20 online NEET full syllabus mock test and 25 NEET topic wise previous year questions and 3 physics, chemistry, biology books along with uh, video solutions on the app and detailed solutions and performance reports for every test. And benchmarking with Sri Chaitanya students because most of the results we are getting from the Sri Chaitanya. So, when you your assessment is along with Sri Chaitanya students, you will be having where exactly your score can be predicted. And these many facilities who is going to give in India, Infinity Learn is giving in India so that you all just um, uh, make use of this and um, in the description box link is available. And Click it and uh, fill the details and enjoy and it was a 5999 on the special discount when you apply YouTube 50 off the coupon code then you are going to get for the cheapest price on the limited time offer 2999 while yet you just enjoy seamless preparation for NEET examination and getting into the details of the dipole movement. A dipole movement is the product of the charge on one atom and the distance between the two atoms of the electronegativity. And let us say here HCl is there. Because of the electronegativity, chlorine is going to have the partial negative charge and uh, hydrogen is going to have partial positive charge. There are two poles can be seen. And due to that bond is moved towards more electronegative atom, the charges are appeared. This movement is called bond movement and two poles are arise. So, this phenomenon is called dipole movement and the distance between these two is let us say D and the dipole movement is given as the product of the charge and uh, the distance. And you can say the units for this is going to be d by or e s u centimeters. 1 d by is equal to 10 to the power of minus 18 e s u centimeters or 3.3 into 10 power minus 30 c coulomb meters. And you can say the dipole moment can be calculated by using this formula just what I mentioned here. Delta is a partial charge d is the bond distance and it is a vector quantity and what are the applications of the dipole movement you can see. Dipole movement of the BEF2 you can see. In the BEF2 beryllium and the fluorine and the fluorine linearly attached. Beryllium and the fluorine, fluorine is more electronegative dipole movement is indicated by the arrow with the tail cut and uh, this force and this force opposes together. Therefore, dipole movement of the overall dipole movement of the beryllium fluoride is cancelled. When you talk about the dipole movement in the water, oxygen and hydrogen, oxygen is more electronegative. So, the dipole movement will be in this direction and this dipole movement in this direction and this is the resultant dipole movement and resultant dipole movement in this direction. 
So, we have to apply simple vector basics and you can see the overall dipole moment. And let us see the applications of the dipole moment. The applications of dipole moment is to distinguish between a polar and non-polar molecules. When the dipole moment resultant is going to be 0 is said to be a non-polar. If the resultant dipole moment of the molecule is said to be not equal to 0 is said to be a polar molecule. Let us say here carbon dioxide C double bond O and double bond O resultant dipole moment is getting cancelled. Similarly, CH4 you can see carbon CH4. So, it resultant dipole moment is going to be 0. So, it is going to be a non-polar molecule. So, polar and non-polar you can say based on the resultant dipole moment. And also greater is the electronegativity difference between the bonded atoms and the polar molecule, greater is the value of dipole moment. So, greater is the dipole moment you may be having the bond character comes to be little bit of partial ionic character. So, the percentage of ionic character can be calculated by using the ratio of the experimental dipole moment on the calculated dipole moment into 100. So, you can also say to predict the shape of the molecule, the dipole moment can be used. If this symmetrical molecule are seen, if the molecule has symmetrical shape like dumbbell shape or you can say linear shape, trigonal shape and regular tetrahedral shape, bipyramidal, trigonal, bipyramidal. If the molecule having the regular geometry is and the regular shapes, reg generally the dipole moment of the molecule is going to be 0, provided that the all the elements surrounding to the central atom will have the same electronegativity. And if they have the different the electronegativities, irregular shapes, you can see in the molecule which has un unsymmetrical shape like angular, trigonal, bipyramidal and such type of angular you can say water molecule, it is angular. So, the dipole moment will be irregular so that uh, resultant dipole moment is not equal to 0, it is said to be polar and the trigonal, bipyramidal, NH3 you can see nitrogen, lone pair of electron and the resultant dipole moment will be in this direction and dipole moment is not equal to 0. And of course, one more important thing among uh, ammonia and NF3 which has more dipole moment, NF3 you can see the dipole moment will be in this direction and here in this way. So, the lone pair movement and uh, the nitrogen hydrogen bond movement here in the additive whereas a lone pair movement nitrogen fluorine bond movement are opposing resultant dipole movement of NH3 is always greater than resultant dipole movement of NF3 this is very 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 important point. And also you can say to calculate the bond angle between the two bonds we can use the dipole movement. So, how do we say if the atom A and bonded to atom B and atom C and it is with the theta let us say it is a dipole moment M1 it is dipole moment M2. So, dipole moment is a vector quantity so that resultant dipole moment is going to be root over M1 square plus M2 square plus 2 M1 M2 cos theta by applying this theta value you can calculate it. When theta is maximum resultant dipole moment is going to be minimum, theta is maximum 180 resultant dipole moment is going to be 0. That you can see dipole moment of this para dichlorobenzene is going to be 0 because they get cancelled whereas you can see ortho 60 degrees meta 120 degrees para 180 degrees. So, it is 60 dipole moment is going to be 6.3 para it is going to be 3.8 it is less and it is going to be cancelled and theta is 180 and para dichlorobenzene is going to be 0. What happen if this is the case dipole moment of 1 comma 2 comma 4 trichloro it is of course not equal to 0. It is of course not equal to 0 here this is cancelled with this whereas resultant dipole moment will be in this direction. So, these are the various things you can say and also 
whenever para dichlorobenzene resultant dipole moment is going to be zero if it is going to be oh resultant dipole moment is not equal to zero because this is non linear non linear whenever linear groups are there para isomer resultant dipole moment is going to be zero when non linear groups are there the resultant dipole moment is not equal to zero this is very very important as far as the organic part is concerned and dipole moment of geometrical isomers can also be same for trans isomer resultant dipole moment is getting cancelled in this way <coughs> for cis isomer it is not cancelled that is the reason why dipole moment is not equal to zero if the group are same if the groups are not same the same scenario comes into the picture so like that you will be having various tricks in identifying dipole moment in this application and today's class we have seen what is dipole moment how it is done and how it is applicable in predicting the geometry shape and bond angle and percentage of ionic character so stay tuned for such type of short videos based on the critical concepts in various parts of the chemistry so stay tuned for such type of sessions please like the session share with your friends and subscribe to infinity learn youtube channel thank you thank you very much